Well, good morning, everyone. Happy New Year. Hopefully you had a wonderful and restful winter holiday, winter break, and ready, you are clearly, for second semester. We're very pleased to be back as we complete the second half of the 2018-2019 school year. Just a few announcements for today. First, we'd like to, again, welcome you back and say Happy New Year to all. And hopefully you're expecting nothing but goodness on this year. I know that I am. We'd like to congratulate our new board members or the ones that were at least sworn in. We had Victoria Williams, Dr. Alika Anderson, Jasmine Bowles, and Ben Straker. They were all sworn in because they won their district, won the seats for their district. And so congratulations to our new board, uh, board members who won or knew. Uh, for that matter. And also we'd like to congratulate our new board chair and vice chair, Ms. Jessie Gorey is the new board chair and Dr. Alika Anderson is the new vice chair. So congratulations to Ms. Gorey and Dr. Anderson. As a reminder, our Munis update, we go to semi-monthly pay and you'll get your first half of the month's check on January 15th. That's again, semi-monthly pay, January 15th. We want to thank our Business Services Department, Human Resources, and Technology Services Department for working closely together to make this a reality. Let's not forget that the uh, Superintendent and the Curriculum Instruction and Assessment Department will host the Teacher Impact Meetings. There will be one Wednesday, January 16th at the Performing Arts Center for elementary school teachers, grades three through five from 3.30 to 4.45 p.m. And secondary teachers in grades 6 through 12 from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. on the same day. We hope that you will take time to come. We'll discuss critical information relative to our advanced learning expectations for the 2019-2020 school year. We want to also remind all that we have shared the legislative priorities with everyone, the 2019 General Assembly starts this Monday, January 14th. Our priorities are clear. We've sent that again to you, so I won't go over those or rehash them here. But please take time to look at those legislative priorities and feel free to advocate, advocate in the role that you're in for a successful, successful uh, General Assembly as it relates to our legislative priorities. We're hopeful that we'll see some good outcomes from the General Assembly. We'd like to remind everyone that we will be observing the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. holiday on Monday, January 21st, and that's a day where we don't work, but all of us know that it's not a day that we take off, it's a day of service, and so find someone, some organization to serve and sow into your community. Dr. King gave much for many, for cause, for cause, and, and I'll be very clear, his cause just wasn't beneficial to African Americans. His cause was beneficial to every hue in this country, every color, every race, every group in this country, not only in this country, but in this world. And so we honor and recognize Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. As a reminder, our SPLOST renewal vote will occur on March 19th, and so we have outlined and we'll continue to share the projects that we have identified for the next SPLOS. We'll call it SPLOS 6 because we're currently in SPLOS 5, which ends in December of this, G this year. So SPLOS 6, the vote will occur, a special election on March 19th. This community will go to the polls to decide if it wants to continue with the efforts and the projects that we've identified. And we're hopeful, we're hopeful that this community will give us a thumbs up of support. As a reminder, we will be discussing throughout this semester our advanced learning expectations relative to all sixth graders taking accelerated math toward eighth grade algebra and all incoming freshmen at the high school level, ninth graders taking advanced placement, advanced courses, because we want all of our students to have a rigorous college experience prior to graduating from Clayton County Public Schools. Please know that the Advanced Learning Portal has been communicated to all. It's on the website. Take full advantage of those resources. Our work is, our vision is so much bigger 
than where we are, where we have been. There, we don't have a model that we're following. There are no models out there. We are defining who we are as a community. Clayton County Public Schools, we're showing others that we will not be defined by our history. We will not be defined by any negative occurrence in our school system. We will only be defined by our actions going forward. And our actions are to ensure that all of our students, all of our students have access to high expectations and a curriculum that prepares them for options well beyond high school. And so again, this is our time, Clayton. And thank you, teachers and counselors and all that are working, principals that are working with our parents to communicate these advanced learning expectations, having the right conversations with all to ensure that we have a, not necessarily perfect, but a seamless transition to these high expectations for all students. As a reminder, as a reminder, there are no models out there for us. We are creating our model. Clayton County Public Schools, our vision is to be a high performing school system, preparing all of our students. And to be very honest, it's a vision a lot bigger than who we are today. It requires thought, innovation. It requires us to be unified in our purpose and unified in our actions. It requires coherence. While we all are in different roles and we play different positions on the team, we're one team working toward one goal and that's high performance. And we expect to see our students, our students doing well, not only while they're with us K-12, but beyond the K-12 experience. And lastly, I'd like to share our second annual State of the Schools address will be Tuesday, January 29th at 6 p.m. at the Performing Arts Center. I want to encourage all of you, please place this event on your calendar. Come out and hear, learn, participate, hear the challenges, but most importantly, hear what we're doing to address the challenges, hear the successes that we've had, hear about the vision and where we're going as a community, as a school system. We're going in a good direction. We're going to do what is good for our children, for all children in our school system. And I want you to be a part, again, of our second annual State of the Schools Address, January 29th at 6 p.m. at the Performing Arts Center. Well, that's all I have today. I hope you have a restful weekend. It looks like it's going to be somewhat cold, so stay warm, eat well, enjoy family and friends, and we'll see you on next week. Take care.